Hey y'all, this is gonna be for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, the water signs. I appreciate y'all clicking on that thumbnail, checking out the reading. This is gonna be for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also check your Jupiter and your North Node. Um, also check what signs in your seventh house, okay? Um, or whatever placement you want. My email's open, you guys, for any type of uh, spiritual questions, advice. Also, for personal readings, you can also check out the Etsy for personal readings, okay? Again, I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that like and subscribe if this resonates with you, okay? So, here's what we have for you guys. Ooh, okay, let me get them in the order they fell out. So, we have attraction, healing family issues, pay attention to the red flags, and this could be the one. Okay, water signs. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with y'all. Um, hmm. So, so far, I'm feeling like there may be someone in your energy that is dealing with some type of trauma, or it could be you, um, water signs. Okay, so attraction. Oh, so attraction, we have the star and we have the two of swords. Okay, so I feel like here um, you may have a decision to make. Oh, three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Oh, hmm. some of you guys may have a choice between more than one person. Okay, uh, I feel like a lot of you guys are dating. If you're single, you're dating and you're enjoying life. Um, if you're like in a situationship, I feel like you may be enjoying it other than, you know, you needing to make a decision about something. Um, I will clarify here, um, but some, some of you may want to heal something with someone or uh, with this three of swords here, it gives me the impression that someone wants to heal something with you or vice versa and they may be undecided about it. Or when this person wants to heal it and they come around, you might be undecided. Take it how it resonates, uh, water signs. Spirit, clarify healing family issues for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Healing family issues for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay, I'm not taking all these, y'all, but the Three of Swords came out again. Wow. Um, some of you guys, yeah, some of you guys are healing. Y'all keep getting all these cards. I have a lot to say or someone in your energy has a lot to say. Spirit, clarify healing family issues. Next time I'll just take the top card. Oh, there we go. We got the moon. We got y'all's energy here. Okay, so, um, ooh. So there was, did you guys find out some type of family secret? Or did someone have some type of secret family? <sighs> okay. Um, someone has a secret family spirit. Cl clarify, pay attention to the red flags. Water signs. I don't like it. This reading's going. But we'll see though. Spirit, clarify, pay attention to the red, uh, red flags. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Pay attention to the red flags. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I am going to clarify that moon. Pay attention to the red flags. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, now no cards want to flip out. Mm-hmm. Did y'all find out something? Water signs about somebody? There we go. The Queen of Swords here. Okay, you might be dealing with an air sign or you have air in your chart, uh, particularly Libra. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Uh, I, I sh uh, Okay, so I'm feeling like um, somebody you're dealing with may have a family, you guys. Um, mm, okay. Or this could, be, this could be someone that had you in this Two of Swords energy at one point where they... Uh, where there was a choice between you and the situation that we're in. Spirit, this could also be you, Water Signs, deciding if you want to stay in your family or if you want to move on to something else. Spirit, clarify 
this could be the one yeah some of you guys dealing with a Taurus I've seen that the Hierophant flipped over again um yeah some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus um this could also be someone that you see marriage with or you were married to the six of swords on the bottom of the deck could be this this could be someone you moved away from before um Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is someone that you could have moved away from at one point. Yeah, we're getting some past energy. Um, but the, the family thing here, you guys, it may not be, it doesn't have to be someone around you has a secret family. This could be you finding out some type of family secret um, that's been kind of hidden from you. And it hurt you. And you're and you're trying to heal from it. Spirit, clarify attraction for water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, attraction for water signs. Oh, <laughs> the devil! So you guys dealing with a Capricorn? Yep, three of Pentacles, Capricorn again. Wow, you guys. Yep, someone's dealing with a Cap. Um. And I feel like you guys are, it could also be an Aquarius because the star is here. Um, so you guys have a really great, intense connection with a Capricorn. Um, it doesn't have to be, it could be any sign. It could just be the energy that they carry. But the the connection is intense. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you with just three of pinnacles on the bottom of the deck, it, it may be a lot of work dealing with this person. And it, that could be why you're in this two of swords energy. Do you want to move on to something else or do you want to stick it out? For a lot of you guys, this is someone you have a family with already. This is someone you may have children with already. Um, Spirit, clarify healing family issues. Take it how it resonates. Um, water signs. It, it won't resonate with everyone, okay? Clarify healing family issues. There's a very intense... Uh, attraction here someone is very 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 attracted to you water signs like <laughs> crazy crazy attraction the two of swords again y'all what the queen of pentacles on the bottom which makes me think some of you this could be someone that you married to guys or somebody you're dealing with is married or or you that's what you found out about them that made you walk away from them so we have the ace of cups yeah from under healing family issues and we have the two of swords so i feel like either you or someone in your energy had a choice between stay in your situation or move on and this could be your energy now um under passage to the red flags, it's a queen of swords here. So I feel like some of you, the queen of swords can be someone that is single. The queen of swords can also uh, be someone um, is the divorced woman of the deck. Okay. So there's a, I'm getting a heavy marriage energy here. And this is kind of giving me divorce vibe. So is this someone that you are divorced from uh, water signs? This could be someone you divorced Spirit, clarify, pay attention to the red flags and the queen of swords for water signs. Yeah. So either you either you chose uh, the magician on the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Water signs. Okay, so pay attention to the red flags. We already have the queen of swords here, as y'all know. Queen of swords here already. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the World, lots of major arcana, and the Queen of Swords again, y'all. This is somebody you divorced or you were in a long-term relationship with or this, this person is divorced or getting a divorce. Okay, take it how it resonates with water signs. This, this is what I'm seeing, water signs, okay? One scenario here is... Someone wants to reconcile with you that you divorce, that you, you have divorced or you're in the middle of a divorce. Also, you guys, you might be dealing with someone or one of your options is going through a divorce and not telling you. 
Yeah. Somebody has a family and they're not telling you. However, what I'm picking up on is they're, is they're separating from the family. And, ooh, with the, this could be the one and the hierophant under it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is someone you were either married to or this person is married. However, I'm seeing that they're leaving the marriage. Okay. They are leaving the marriage. Take it how it resonates, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Clarify this could be the one. Clarify this could be the one. It didn't flip all the way over. All right, come on. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so we got the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, someone wants to give you a solid offer. However, this Eight of Swords here, somebody's trapped in something. The Four of Pentacles. Yep. But the sun's here. The sun could also be something is coming to light, you guys. So it's either coming to light that someone that you were married to or you're, you're in the middle of a divorce wants to reconcile, cancel the divorce, or someone that you're dealing with. I feel like you have more than one option here, though. Um, someone that you're dealing with, you may not, um, is married and going through a divorce. And with the sun here, it's going to come to light. Yep. You're going to find out about a divorce and, and it could also be causing money problems and stuff too for this person. This person is trapped in something and I feel like it's a relationship it could also be you, water signs. Take it how it resonates, okay? It could be you that's trapped in the uh, marriage or feeling trapped, going through a divorce. I feel like somebody's going through a divorce, either you or someone in your energy, okay? Uh, all right. Spirit, let me pull the other deck. All right, what else does water signs need to know? Okay, damn, right off the top. This is... The Eight of Pentacles could be a Virgo that you're um, leaving. Yeah, someone wants to work on something. Um, for a lot of you, if you're not interested, so this is an ex-spouse, you may not be interested in um, reconciling. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. You may not be interested in reconciling with whoever this is, uh, Water Signs. And again, you could have stopped talking to this person because you found out about a family that they had. And now, and oh, and you know what? Now they're coming back around and say, hey, like we're getting a divorce. You know, they might even have paperwork and stuff to prove it. But I feel like a lot of you guys aren't going to care. Like, it's just like, okay, well, you still lie, you know, but. Yeah. So we got the strength card here. Ooh, and the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Yeah. And I, f I feel like you guys are going to meet someone else. So, so um, or you, you're already dating someone. I feel like some of you guys are dating an earth sign already. And then you're going to have this past person come back around that may have been married, and that's why you walked away from them. Or it's an ex-spouse. And then you're gonna gonna kind of be in this energy because I feel like a lot of you guys have a family. You had a family, or you have a family with this person, and so you're gonna be conflicted. Do I move on to someone else, or do I fix my family? Okay. <sighs> yeah. Um. Lots of storylines here. You just have to take what resonates with you. Uh, Cancer, Pisces. Scorpio. It's not going to resonate with each and every one of you guys. Okay. Let's get one more. Y'all, the Eight of Pentacles came out again, y'all. Somebody wants to work on it. You know what? It might be two people that want to work on things with you. I told y'all there's more than one energy here. I told y'all the Eight of Pentacles two times pops out. The Ten of Cups came out with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody sees you as their wish, as their uh, f wish fulfillment, their emotional fulfillment. And again, it might be two people that want to work on things. Yeah, Spirit is saying to, um, if you want to work on it, you know, do what's best for you. I don't tell anybody what to do, ever. 
I never tell people what to do. I don't judge. You know, hey, if it works for you, it works for you, boo. All right. Okay, so that's y'all's reading. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And I appreciate y'all watching. And as always, until next time, peace out.